worrisome rate. A recent published research finding shows that Cameroonians all over the national territory consumed over 800 million hectoliters of beer in 2015 only. This representing beer produced by breweries in the country and excluding imported wines, spirits and whiskies. In that same 2015, a WHO report also shows that Cameroon occupied the second position in the world in beer consumption after Poland. Though the law in Cameroon prohibits the sale of alcohol to school-going children, that is youth, this category of persons have been identified by the research to be amongst the highest consumers of beer in the country. This certainly explains why beer parlors or off-licenses keep on flourishing around school campuses despite government's injunctions. It is interesting, when fuel prices were increased in the country, it met with stiff opposition from the population. Paradoxically, when beer prices were increased, there was no protest. It did not limit or even stop the boozing around the country. Rather, the graph of beer consumption in Cameroon continues going up, as statistics have revealed. With this, pundits are of the opinion that Cameroon will emerge first as the country with the highest number of drunkards before its economy does so in 2035. However, most of the drunkards or boozers in Cameroon blame the situation on frustration, unemployment, poverty, etc. But as these boozers find solace in a bottle of beer or a glass of whiskey, they should be reminded that alcohol is depressant, that is, it slows down the brain. Alcohol causes hypertension, weakens the immune system, and alcohol causes liver cirrhosis, which doctors say is fatal and has no cure. So, settling down on a bottle of beer or a glass of whiskey is a personal verdict. Blame no one when the doctors tell you soon that you have a liver cirrhosis caused by alcohol, whose way out is the grief.